Shalom, and you're now locked in here. It's like Talk TV, where you get nothing but the raw and the real whenever I'm in front of the camera. So make sure y'all sort of pay some love, like, subscribe, and share. They will not condemn the Israelis. Okay, they're gonna bow down and worship and worship the Israelis. And let me explain to you why. Okay, this guy right here, right? Okay, this guy right here, right? Okay. And I know I ran over a little bit, but but this is something you guys are gonna want that you guys are gonna want to know, right? This guy right here, right? Okay, and let me get this guy pulled up so you can get a very good look at him, right? This guy right here is a guy who you want to know, right? Why is this guy right here, Haim Solomon, so important, right? This guy right here, right? Okay is a jew okay and you guys gotta understand right um okay you guys gotta understand right and let me break this down and, and we're gonna and then we just I'm, we're gonna go through this and i'm gonna highlight these points the united states right okay the reason why the united states supports the nation uh, these Jews that's over there in the land of Palestine and have created this land of Israel, which we know the Bible never called that land Israel. Right. Matter of fact, it always called it the land of Canaan. OK, it was what is what it was called. OK, now. Excuse me. The reason why the United States supports these Jews unconditionally is because. The Jews, the Zionist the elites, OK, and the uh, the British are basically responsible for founding this nation. OK. Now, I want you guys to understand this. Remember, I told you I have an expose that's coming. Jews were in America way before the days and times of Hitler. This is the thing that they try to hide. There was Jews in America that owned slaves. I have the documents. And like I said, I have an expose that I'm putting together and I'm going to release it when it's time documenting and showing you all of these documents from them that they have their own documents. OK. I even have documents of them acknowledging that they are that they are not the real Jews. Oh, yes, I have that. that, that that's coming. Y'all just get ready. Right. I got that merch. OK. But the fact of the matter is. Is that when when um, George Washington, OK, because when you when you're talking about remember the Boston Tea Party, right? A few years after that, they had the uh, uh, or a couple years after that, they had the uh, the American Revolution, right? Where America, the colonies fought against Great Britain to, to break hold from. Them, right. OK, so what happened is, is in that war, there was a lot of elements that was at work, right? The British had told the slaves, because once again, we know it was a black man that say they say they say they tell. OK. And in, in, in one instance. Right. But the British was offering the slaves that the uh, that the Europeans over in America had um, that if they defected and came over to them, that they would grant them freedom. So a lot of those slaves went in, uh, went into Great Britain. This is how some of these slaves got to Great Britain because they was here in America and they were slaves. And the British told them that if they, uh, you know, if they if they basically left America and not, you know, you know, basically participating in the war. And I'm just kind of paraphrasing. They would grant them uh, freedom. OK. And this is how George Watson was able to use uh, what you call it to go over there and backdoor them. Right. Now, with that being said, that's only one element of it. The other element that was so that's so crucial, uh, critical is that when George Washington was fighting the British, right, he ran out of money. OK, he ran out of money when he was fighting the British. OK, the British was too strong in regards to they was already developing. They, they trying to break away from them. OK, so they had more resources than the Europeans that came to America. So when they ran out of money, what did they do? He turned to this guy right here. OK, this guy, Haman Solomon, which is a he's a he's a Jew. 
a Jewish convert, right, from out of Polish, right? So let, let me let, let me get this pulled up, and we're going to go through this because this is what all you Israelites need to know, right? And this is critical. It says he was a Polish-born Jewish businessman. Listen to this. And a political financer broker who assisted the superintendent of finance, English-born Robert Morris as the prime financer of the colonist side during the American Revolutionary War against Great Britain. Right. Listen to this. Having immigrated. Right. Remember, I told you Jews were in America before the days and times of Hitler. Right. Having immigrated to New York City from Poland. Right. Solomon aided the Continental Army during the period of the American Revolution and helped convert French loans into ready cash by selling bills of an exchange for Moors, the superintendent of finance. He also brokered large donations and donated his entire, listen, his entire fortune to the American Revolutionary Army and various founding fathers of the united states okay do you guys understand what's going on here okay the united states these europeans are in debt to the jews right it's just like for an example you know how okay let's go there if you are plug and you're supplying people right you're the boss okay and they're the worker the Jews were the financiers, the bankers, the brokers, the money that made it happen. The European, the, the Europeans that was because they all Europeans. Right. But I just want you guys to understand the different classifications. OK, you had the Jewish converts that 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 was real good with the money. And then you had these Europeans, the barbarians. You know what I'm saying? They are the muscle. This is why today in the United States, when anything ever happened, right, on these social, if you ever notice on these social platforms, right, like when we look at people like Nick Cannon and Ye, what did they do? Whenever they came out and said something, because they have they have big influence, they have large groups of people that they influence. So they want to watch out what type of influence you're influencing these people with. So when they come out and say these type of things, they know that these people are not stooped in the word like, a lot of us are. They'll, they'll sit down with the Nick Cannons and the Gates. They won't sit down with us. They'll send these garbage, uh, Harry, Harry Rosenberg, the, you know, these bottom feeders. But they top rabbis won't come out because they will get dusted by them guys. Okay? By them lights. Right? Now, so America is the muscle. They are the bankers. They control the money. And they have to protect that bag at all causes see when the jew when the jewish people fall over here america's going to fall because they are the money they are the bankers this is why how they did yay they they they, they gave them a check and said you got to get your money out of our banks and no other bank is going to take that check and cash it because they control the money flow so you just sitting here with a check with you know what i'm saying you know, six, seven, eight hundred billion, uh, six hundred, seven hundred million dollars or whatever. And all they do is, is that they just subtract that money from the money that's already in the system, the inflation and stuff like that. Right. So that's all they do. They don't they don't care nothing about that because that, that, they know it's fake. So this is why our entertainers, these people that sit at the top, they're puppets. They they have to do whatever they tell them to do because they can cut their lights off. This is why they fear cryptocurrency, because when you're operating outside of their system, it becomes problematic because they no longer have the power over you to say, well, we're going to stop that. And this is why this war is going to happen over here. It has to. Because a lot of people are abandoning that dollar. They know what these people are doing is faulty. OK, so. I, I know we've went on. We've, we've gone over way over, but I had to get this i had to get this done right but this is the reason why the united states supports them unconditionally because the jews are basically like the founding fathers of the united states if it wasn't for solomon the jew that came from poland and gave them his entire fortune to save them 
there would be no United States as we know it today. It would be control. All of this would be controlled by Great Britain. OK, so this is why they support them unconditionally. They have no choice. They have to. Because they've been locked in since the beginning. OK. So with that said, being said, family, y'all share this. Y'all get this out there. Our people need to put ears on this. Right. Um. But you guys be safe out there, right? And we're almost at an hour here, right? I didn't want to go this long, but hey, I had I had to do it. Okay. Um, but anyway, I'm signing off here on Is Like Talk TV, and I'll catch y'all tomorrow. Shalom.